watched Toy Story 1 tonight. Yes, we did. All right, now we're going to spend the first three minutes in our six-minute review talking about the plot of Toy Story. So, start us off. So, first, there's Woody. And he's the cowboy toy. And he's Andy's favorite. Yeah. And then, everything goes crazy because Buzz comes into the scene and he's this cool, super neat astronaut toy. And obviously, Andy's going to like him more than he's going to like Woody. Okay. You, we're gonna and, see. Andy's, and Andy's jealous. Okay. Andy is Woody, Woody is, jealous. is jealous. Andy is a person with human feelings, not jealousy. That's a toy feeling. Anyway, so Woody and Buzz are fighting, and then Woody's like, "Hey, Buzz, there's a magic eight ball that fell behind the dresser. Can you like go get it?" And then Woody's secretly thinking, "God, I hope he goes behind the dresser so I can push it there, and then he'll be like stuck forever." And then he accidentally knocks Buzz outside the window, and all the toys thinks he murdered Buzz. But he didn't murder Buzz. It was an accident. But, like, he totally wanted to murder Buzz. He, no, he wanted to trap him for eternity. He's like Iron Man in Civil War, and he puts Daredevil in the seventh layer of hell. Which the is blind basically lawyer. murder. <laughs> like, he's fighting Thor, and he puts but the blind anyway, lawyer in the so seventh after, level of after hell. After all of that happens, all of the other to toys, led by Mr. Potato Head, who's basically yes. Donald Trump in the Toy Story like universe... They all decide that Andy True. is the worst, and they <laughs> Woody is the worst, and they push Woody out the window after Buzz. And then they end up at Pizza Castle. Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet is being guarded by two metal security guards with pizza staffs, which it's like is the greatest is thing ever. Pretty dope. Like, why isn't that a real thing? It seems very expensive and impractical. And if I was a parent, I would hate to be in that that restaurant. That would be like my hell. It's like Chuck E. Cheese. It's like Chuck E. Better, Cheese, but like but sterile better. and robotic, and there's metal everywhere. So, okay, we have 30 minutes to wrap up this review before seconds. we get to the. No, maybe, we're, we're still on plot. I know. 30 seconds of plot, well, and then we 40. review. Now we have 20 <laughs> seconds left. All right. Buzz and Woody go to Sid's house. Sid is this demented kid who burns and mutilates toys, which is very sick for a G rated movie. Then, long story short, uh, Buzz and Woody escape and... Become best friends. Become best friends in the process and then end and up in Wendy's care again. Did it. Okay, did flawless. It. Awesome. All right, so Good. now the review. So this is the worst Toy Story. It absolutely is not. But it kind of... I mean, like, no. it's great. It's novel. Like, it's, this whole idea of, like, toys coming to life while we're not around. And also, That's like, so Pixar. Cute. It's like, okay, I understand that it's the whole. best... Like, it's the first Pixar movie. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. doesn't mean it's the best one. It is the best Toy Story. Doesn't mean other it's than the best three. Toy Story. Three is the best Toy Story. Yes, followed by one. No, followed by two. Two, you, uh, no. It's like ranking the Iron Mans, or there's another one that I thought of. There's another trilogy. Not the X Men trilogy, because two is the best in that one. Exactly. The sequel is always the best in a trilogy. Mm hmm. Like,. But not in Toy Story. Like Attack of the Clones. Yeah. <laughs> or the Band of Or Temple Menace. of Doom. Yeah. That's Temple of Doom. Oh, maybe it's Indiana Jones. Yeah, that one's That's the one I was thinking of. Indiana Jones has the same rankings as Toy Story. No, because the first one's the best in Indiana Jones. Yeah. All right. One, one and three are interchangeable. Overall, in, the grand, scheme, movie. in the grand scheme of things, this is the top... 30% Pixar films. It is a great movie is to start 30%. Pixar. This like, is the top 30%. so good. Like, it's it's creative. It has lots of jokes for, like, adults and children. Yes. It's great. Like, I felt very happy watching it as a 22-year-old. Would you rank this in your top three Pixar films? As of right now, no. Top five. No. Maybe? No. It should be? Well... <laughs> Maybe. We're going to, I mean, if we keep, you know, we don't we'll want to that reveal later. the other names because, you know. This is the first Pixar. We'll rank them all as we go this in, is, in order. So far, this is the best Pixar movie. Uh, we're one for one, and this is the best one we've seen. So far. Absolutely. Um, it's a great start. Okay, so we'll spend the last minute to talk about how it compares to most films that aren't Pixar related. So, I'm going to have to give this... Four out of five stars. 
You're saying this or exploding is... Disney castles because that's the intro to Pixar movies. Like it's the exploding. I feel like this is a good movie, and it's a lot better than most animated films of like this time. Of any time. Uh, I don't know because like Toy Story three comes up later. Yeah. And then this movie I, doesn't I, even make my top but five. But also, like, there's other terrible animated. Yeah. Animated movies of the '90s were like on point. Mm. Lion King, Tarzan, Mulan. Cartoons. You're torn. I'm talking about Pixar movies. We have eight seconds. You have to give it a star rating in five seconds. Uh, five. Five out of five. 